and see what's in it. The moment of truth or expose. Don't want to lose the candy. And there's another document up there. All right. It's tiring. And we got the styrofoam bag trick. white. It's supposed to be new, but there's significant scuffing here on this plate. All right, so <clears throat> what is it? It's white, black binding, and an Ibanez Geo. This is a uh, 120. These knobs look different than what I saw. I'm wondering if this was a uh, unit that they were using as a demo and the plastic is off the tuners three of them and sort of turned up that way there and then two of them are left on so uh, Eric, one of your favorite brands. It's got quite a, a lean on the headstock. <clears throat> there are no string trees. Has an identifiable scarf joint. Other than the scuff on this panel, which you can see there in the light, um, the rest of it looks aesthetically fairly good. This is the first time I've ever uh, gone Ibanez. This is not the guitar I was uh, initially looking to buy. I was looking for the uh, AX120 CM in copper metallic picture and uh, turned out it was on a, a back order and then told no longer in production. So I opted to uh, try this one. The action on it is uh, quite high at the moment. We can get that in there. Yeah, there you see. And the bridge saddles are also up. With the black, it's very difficult to show that. With the knobs in the way as well. Um, the nut action is uh, higher than uh, I like of uh, 18 thou on the bass, 16 thou on the treble. I saw a review that says the tuning keys are quite good. And there doesn't feel like there's slack in them. 
That one's a bit looser. I'll just tighten up the buttons to my liking. <clears throat> yeah, so... What does it say on the back? Made in China with a serial number. So the back of the neck is a, a satin. Gloss white. So looks like uh, with most of these uh, budget guitars I'll have some work to do on it. The switching pattern of the five-way blade switch is uh, different than fenders. Um, I'll put a picture of what it looks like up in the screen but it's a little bit different and it splits the coil in different ways. Two-point floating bridge and we'll see how that works for tuning. Other than that it seems okay. This could just be a scuffing on the plastic here. Yeah, the plastic's still there. But yeah, the chafing here and there makes me think that, you know, somebody had been using it as a, a demo and it's been resting on on them like, you know, on their leg, something like that when they're playing it. Okay, we're going to see how this puppy uh, does once I get it on the bench. Um, manual in the box, GRGA120WH, Hoshino Gaki Company, Nagoya but made in China. So this manual comes in multiple languages and uh, it'll give novices an idea of what to do and what not to do. Um, tuning of strings, how to replace strings, how to do neck adjustments with truss rod, measuring string heights and stuff like that. So you can either read that or go on YouTube and watch uh, Multiple people show you exactly how it's done, including myself. Okay, bench initial inspection. First thing I want to know is how high are the strings now? Hmm. That's a, an eighth of an inch. That's eight sixty fourths, and that's about uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's six sixty fourths on that side. The rest of them doesn't really matter. You know, they're all they're all up there, so they all have to come down. So as usual, first thing is the truss rod adjustment. Capo first fret. And look at that, yes, that needs to be tightened up a little bit. There's too much relief in there. We're going to need a four millimeter likely. This being my first uh, Ibanez, Ibanez guitar, um, I know I'm playing with the name. They have a tiny little trap door that you can just kind of swing open you have to loosen one screw you just swing this little trap door open to easily get to the truss rod interesting so now I'm going to tune it up to pitch to get the tension and then I'll be able to make the um, adjustment for the truss rod
both covers off at the same time. There's shielding on the back of both. And there's a, a shielding paint inside the cavities. This one they brought up over the edge, but there's no connection to the back plate here. Very clean on the inside. If there's any white buffing powder, I can't see it. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, the springs. The springs are uh, kind of uh, weakish. I have uh, newer springs which are very taut and I think can uh, lend me a hand in there. So some success by adding two more springs of mine. A little bit uh, tighter than the other ones. And uh, it's, it's got a tiny little bit of movement but I think it's it's really close to where I could probably still give it a little bit of a wang if I wanted to um, but it's stabilizing the tuning so that every time you change the tension on the string it doesn't change it the other the other five where was I at yeah I wanted to check the truss rod uh, under tension and it still looks like it needs a little bit, but we'll leave it there for now. It's good enough. The next thing to do then will be bringing the saddles down. And see what happens there. Oh, the pickup height I think is, oh no. Yeah, the pickup's probably a little bit too high. Got some very small head. Um, Phillips screws on this guitar. It's going to bring that down a tiny little bit. It doesn't interfere with the strings for now. I guess we're going to just try to. Well, I'm just going to leave that plastic on for now. All right, we need the. And hopefully their Allen keys are standard size. M2s uh, I think they should be. Yep, feels good. Alright, so now it's going to come down from pitch. So I'm not going to bore you guys with this. Uh, I'm going to work on it and I'll get back. So I think I finally got the balance and dynamics okay between the uh, the bridge tension. The height of the strings are extremely low now. They're either at 3 or 4 sixty-fourths. Let's see what happened to the height of the pickups. The action at the nut up here is um, a little bit too high. It's way over nine, uh, 18 and a little over 16 down here. Uh, the nut is supposed to be bone. It looks a lot like a graphite that I got on one of the uh, ivies, I think. Um, but it's uh, the strings are sitting over the top of the slots. Black on black is really hard to show in uh, camera. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and uh, let it adjust and then we'll uh, go from there. Okie dokie, it has set for a while. Got that screwed in. Stops down at the bottom. I don't know. I kind of like it when they sit somewhere about there if I was about to maybe use one of these things. Um, in the uh, candy tools there's the two standard wrenches, uh, yeah, Allen keys and then 
one a little bit bigger maybe it's a two a, that's a two millimeter it's probably a three millimeter or two and a half millimeter wrench as well and I don't know what it, uh, it fits on this on this guitar so I wanted to also mention that the uh, frets are very sharp ended all the way along that's going to need a a looking after. I want to show you the back cavity with the uh, electronics in it. Right there. A bunch of colored wires. Like that. So we got a pink and a green and those are the, obviously the pickups. The uh, switch on this is uh, <clears throat> it's a box switch. It's a little heftier than the standard box switches that come on most uh, guitars. It's got a, a bigger metal case around it. The pots are dime and there's plenty of space between the two should I choose to mod it a little bit. Um, I wanted to make some noise with it as well, but uh, before going to uh, do that, I thought I'd maybe just measure, push that over a little bit, I just measure the uh, pickups to see what, uh, what they are. I read the spec on them, I just can't remember. Uh, that's in the bridge. Let's go back down there. Twelve. Twelve in the bridge. And what's it doing? I'm going to do there. Whoa! Then it goes to two point two when it does the bridge in a single coil. Uh, in the middle, it's going to be five point two. So. I suspect the middle position is going to be parallel between the two of them and the neck is 9.2 so kind of low outputs uh, for these things as humbuckers on an Ibanez kind of low outputs for that all right let's plug it in the uh, 66, what's it, Deluxe 65, 65 Deluxe, and see what she does. Okay, we're at the noise level part. Back to the 65 Deluxe Basic as it is set continuously in my programs. Volume on the amp is at 2.5, I think. Let's, let me check. Yep, 2.5, about 25 watt output. So the bridge is uh, hot out. switching I'll put a I'll put a shot up uh, it it drops dramatically these things that they're basically made for uh, dirt 
the humbuckers are really good for a lot of overdrive. And I would say that's true because uh, of the, I can already hear the muddiness. The tone is all the way up. The 47 cap in there. It's all the way up. So in the middle, it's, uh, it's, a little bit, it's brighter than the second position. So even with the two of them in parallel, what did I say they were? 5.2K? This is 2.2K? That one's probably about 2.2. .2. Somewhere around the same level. The neck. The neck sounds pretty good. A lot of bass. <clears throat> A lot of bass on the top end. Touching the body. Tone works pretty good. It's got a forty seven chiclet in it. So kind of like the Oscar and the Donner here, I uh, have it uh, pulled pretty tight so that uh, if you want to, you can still give it a little shake like that. The neck is uh, very thin, C-shaped. Feels pretty good, except for the sharp edges. Once I fix that, that'll be good. Not sure what I'll do about these uh, pickups. I, I don't think I like the switching combination that they have. And so, we will have to ponder exactly what I'm thinking I should end up with on this one. I love the beautiful white. I mean, it's a bright white with the black binding around the front. It's very pretty. It's uh, artistically beautiful. The uh, fretboard is supposed to be Indian rosewood. It's very dark, it's very dense. Uh, it doesn't look in like in bad shape, dry or anything like that. It'll get a cleaning. I'm gonna have to lower the action at the nuts. I have to do a little filing on those as well. I'll use these strings to do that with. I'm gonna measure what these are. There's, I think they were supposed to be 10 to 46s. I'll see what they are. I'll probably end up with 9.5s on it. But uh, the tuners are doing really good. Uh, they're unbranded. There's no no name on the on the tuners. All right. We'll we'll halt it there for now. Thanks for checking in.